Hello, 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 hello! And we got more player movement coming in your way. Before I talk about that one move, let's talk about the others, shall we? Okay, Sadiq Bey signed a 3 years, 19 million contract with the Washington Wizards. This is a good investment move for the Wizards though. Sadiq Bey may not play this season though. But that's a solid contract for him. And I love this move for the Wizards. Bryce McGowan signs a two-way contract with the Blazers. Oh, he killed it in the uh, California Classic Summer League. It was, so, it was impressive enough that the Blazers took him on a two-way contract. The Miami Heat have rescinded the qualifying offers for Cole Swider and Alondis Williams. Both guys don't, don't have a spot with the Heat currently. Cole Swider is basically a carbon copy of Duncan Robinson. And Alondis Williams just wasn't good enough to be a point guard. Kyle Lowry returns to Philly on a minimum deal. Alongside him, Kenyon Martin signs a two-year, $16 million deal with the Sixers to join forces with that turncoat, Caleb Martin. Okay, next. So, Rockets have fully guaranteed Jeff Green's contract. Good for him. They needed a veteran. Josh Kogi re-signs with the Phoenix Suns. Two years, $16 million. They're probably going to use him as a trade chip, though, Phoenix. Or he might stay. Who knows? Vid Kretschy, four years, $10 million with the Atlanta Hawks. Solid deal for them. Johnny Juzang, four years, $12 million with the Utah Jazz. They seen him, they've seen some flashes with him in the times they were tanking. So that's why they resigned him. Jalen Brunson with the biggest pay cut for a star in the NBA at the moment. Four years, $157 million to, to re-sign with the Knicks to sign an extension. They want to keep that Nova boys together though. And this is a huge pay cut for our caliber of a player in Brunson. Or he just doesn't want to repeat the same mistake Isaiah Thomas did. Who knows? But good for him, good for New York. They win, period. And now the the transaction I'm gonna talk about though, Jamal Kane signed a two-way contract with the New Orleans Pelicans. Jamal Kane wanted a standard contract with the Heat. He couldn't get it because the Heat gave that to Drew Smith. And now he signed a two-way contract with the Pelicans in hopes he get a standard contract with them. Kane would have been great on this roster. The Heat needed an athletic two-way wing. He's, he's a similar mold to Caleb Martin. But I think the Heat are so comfortable with Keisha Johnson that they're okay with letting Jamal Kane go. Good luck to Jamal Kane though. At least he didn't went to the Sixers like that turncoat Caleb Martin. That's all I'm saying. Anyways though. Oh wait. Before I go. Reed freaking Shepard. Had 23 points in a summer league game. There are dudes. When you see them playing summer league. You're not impressed. Even though they scored like a gazillion points. This dude scored 23, and I was blown away impressed. And I was only watching the highlights of this kid. The Rockets got a good one here in Reed Shepard, though. Oh, and Bonnie struggled again. 8 points on 3 of 14 shooting. That kid just isn't ready for the NBA, just saying. But back to Reed Shepard, though. If he wasn't playing behind Fred Van Fleet, though... He will be an odds-on favorite to win Rookie of the Year. 
For that reason alone, Ime Udoka has to find playing time for Reed Shepard, though. He has to. He really has to. Okay, that's it. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. See ya.